There are two types of people, those who carry their paper notebooks around and those who trust in digital more than anything. The problem with paper is it will never streamline your note-taking the way digital mind maps can. If you still haven't discovered the perks, this video should definitely change a lot about how you work. I will show you three of my favorite mind mapping apps for Mac OS. Each of them is available in SetApp, a subscription service for Mac apps. So the great thing is you can actually try and use all of them for free with a seven day trial. Let's jump right into it. The most visual of all, MindNode. I love this app for the great work it allows you to do in terms of ideas showcase. Once you jot down a few thoughts, connect them into one, create a detached node, or unfold separate branches, there's no structure or idea that MindNode can't visualize. It also gets really fun with clip art, icons, and pictures you can add to it. If you click here on the image icon, MindNode takes you right to the Photos app. Let's pick this one here, drag it into the mind map, adjust a little, done. You can also pick from among the tinted and colored icons or change the style of your branch. Great for projects where visualization matters. MindNode syncs content via iCloud, which makes it a nice solution for when you need quick access from your phone, want to look into mind map based documents while on the go, etc. Another lovely mind mapping app is called XMind. The basic toolkit looks pretty similar to what you get with MindNode, even though the former is more intuitive and visual. The features like subtopics, parental topics, and tabs are available, and you'll master them very quickly. But what makes XMind especially attractive is the way it lets you present your mind apps. See for yourself. If you click on this slide button in the upper right corner, you'll see the options to create a slide-based story. This means you can work with XMind similarly to how you use Keynote. Showcase the evolution of your idea, or create a visual guide and present it to your audience or colleagues. This is the most common scenario XMind handles perfectly. You can also add and customize slides, and check how they will look in the coherent presentation. If you click on Start Walkthrough, you'll see the full preview. See? It just goes step by step through everything, supporting your speech or presentation. And our final superhero, iThoughtsX. This app has one power that many brainstorming tools lack a super easy export. Well, it's not actually about the ease of the export process, but about all the export options you have here. Once you create a mind map, you can download it as RFT, TXT, CSV, DOCX, and tons of other file formats. You can even create a web page with a clickable mind map image if you click on the web button here. Export to PDF, image, app store, the list of possibilities is really huge here. Another thing that I love about iThoughtsX is the notes field. Sometimes my brainstorming sessions cover lots of stuff. Too much to tell the truth. You can't really pack it into a map field because the final picture will be too complex. iThoughtsX provides space for extensive notes. So if you click on any topic or branch, you'll see this field appear. I just type in all the details here to keep everything in one place. Every note is one click away. Super handy. It's fair to say you don't always need a mind map for your daily tasks. Personal notes that are text only fit perfectly well into Apple's native notes app. For a quick team sync, G Suite has docs and hangouts. However, in most cases, when there's an important discussion going on, you'll save lots of time if you visualize it. I hope you found this mind mapping tutorial useful. Feel free to share any feedback or ideas in the comments. By the way, you can share them as a mind map for some on-the-spot practice. Otherwise, try the perks of every app on setapp.com and have a productive day.